Today we're opening up a $150 Pop King Paul guaranteed value mystery box. This box is also around five months old. I've had this thing since July. I found a couple of them. I figured today is a good day to crack this box open. See what kind of goodies behind this box now for five months. But before we get into this box though, I gotta let you know at home, today, today is my next What Not Funko Pop auction. I'll be going live tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time on Whatnot, auctioning off Funko Pops live on camera. I've got Buy It Now available right now. I put up several mystery boxes. I think there's like four Marvel mystery boxes left, guaranteed way over value. At the time of recording this video, by the time you watch this, they might be already gone. But tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern time, only on Whatnot, I'll be live selling Funko Pops for a couple hours. Also, I got a little perk for the past year or so. Whenever you use my link down below to, to download the Whatnot app, you got 10 bucks off your first purchase. Remember that? I just got upgraded this past week. Now I can offer you $15 off your first purchase. So they pretty much expanded my promo to you. Now you get 15 bucks off if you use my link down below to download the Whatnot app and make your first purchase. So if you find a pop for 15 bucks you wanna buy, it's free. You get $15 off. Not a bad deal, right? So use my code down below. I'll also put a QR code on the screen down here somewhere. Like during my little spiel, you can scan this QR code and also download the app with my personal QR code. It's up to you. Whichever way is easiest for you, direct link down below or the QR code. But I will see you on Whatnot tonight, 6 p.m. Whatnot is the number one marketplace to buy and sell all of your collectibles that's where I do it. That's where you'll see me tonight, 6 p.m. Now we've got a $150 Pop King Paul mystery box. Here are the details. Are you ready? This shipped back on July 20th, so about five months ago. This was called the PKP's Search for the Black and White Deadpool Guaranteed Value Mystery Box, $150. It was $150 plus shipping, 40 total boxes, of course, they sold out five months ago. You can't buy them anymore. Four to six pops per box. The size of this box, it can only be four pops. It says two packs count as two pops. Guaranteed value. Prices taken from Hobby DB are only guaranteed at the time of boxing, July 19th. That was five months ago. So over the past five months, value could have changed a little bit. It could have gone up, it could have gone down. So it says each pop will have a Color sticky showing the price on the top of the pop. It says every box will have at least one of the pops from the picture you see and are valued between 50 to 230 bucks. So some of the top pops in there, you're looking for the black and white Deadpool. That's the big hit, the OG Robocop. You've got some um, Shohei Otani pops, the Scranton boys. You got some Kill Bill stuff. You got the original Crow. You've got some pretty decent stuff in here. You've got the original Blade, which is actually gonna value quite a bit. Uh, you've got some decent stuff. It says five random boxes in this run will contain a redemption ticket inside that wins you a free pop value at $30 plus. Redemption pops do not go towards the value of your box. You will still get your full value or over in your box. So I might have a redemption in here from five months ago. Pops are all 7.5 condition or better. Some pops date back to 2011. So there could be a little bit more damage on those to be accepted. And it's acceptable because they're old pops. So that's all the details you're ready to do. Let's see what we got in this box. 150 bucks, guaranteed value, right? Is that what I said? Yes, guaranteed value. I mean, it was guaranteed value five months ago though too. So five months ago, this box could have been worth 200. Now it can only be worth 175 or vice versa, you know? Five months, pops can change price a lot, especially in the past five months. Inflation right now is sky high and collectibles seem to be going down in value because people aren't buying as much now. People are not spending light like they were because inflation right now is out of control on everything. Have you gone to a grocery store recently? Groceries are expensive now. My wife and I, we used to spend 50 to 75 bucks a week on groceries. Now we're buying the exact same stuff. We're spending over to $200 a week now. It is insane. It's insane. Anyway, 
Okay, we got four pops in there. They're all in pop protectors. I don't know which one's going to be the top hit because they're all in protectors. This one feels like it's a 0.5 protector. The other three are 0.45. So I'm guessing the 0.5 is probably going to be like the biggest hit. I'm guessing. Here we go. First pop. The backs is dodgeball. We got White Goodman. I have not seen this pop for quite a long time. It has been a while. It says value this thing the day packaging was $44. I probably will not be selling this pop. Um, oh, what's the name? Ben Steller. I would love to get this thing autographed. I don't think he's ever done a private signing. I've actually held back the Peter LaFleur. La 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 floor. I can't say. The floor pop to get signed by... Um, what's his name? I, I, I keep thinking Val. It's not... Vince. Vince Vaughn. There we go. By Vince Vaughn. I've held the thing back now for like two, three years. Vince Vaughn has never done a private signing. I'm actually going to hold this one back too. If Ben Stover ever does a private signing. How cool would it be to have both dodgeball pop signed by Ben and Vince? That'd be fun. So yeah, this one actually will not be for sale. I'm going to hold on that one. Hopefully wait for a private signing. I'm actually holding back probably like 50 pops right now to, with hopeful private signings in the future. Always hold back pops. And then eventually the person signs. It might be five years, but eventually they do a private signing. Here you go. Next pop. The back says Nova. Special edition or previous exclusive in 30,000 pieces. $37. Nova. Cool one. Yeah, Nova should be. What is it? The next Guardians of, of the Galaxy movie, I think, right? Does that sound right? The next Guardians? Was that the rumor? I think. No. Warlock's going to be in that one. So Nova may be the next Ant Man. I don't know. But Nova's coming soon to the MCU. Here we go. Next one. My Chemical Romance. Gerard Way Red Tie. This is the OG 2016. This did restock, but this is the original Hot Topic 2016. Worth $40 when this box was created. Okay, so I think these three right here are what, 84, 84, 94, 04, 14, around like what, 121? So right now, this last pop, I think we're, we're going to get decent value. Here we go, last one, you ready? This one's like the a thicker protector, it's a point, point 0.5 protector. So I'm guessing this is going to be the big hit in this box. I'm guessing. Here we go. Last one. Oh, Kill Bill. We got the bride. Nice. 2014. I have not owned this pop for a very long time. It was worth 85 bucks the day of packaging. Hey, I'll, didn't Uma Thurman, she, didn't she play the bride? I haven't seen Kill Bill in probably over a decade. Decade-ish. It's been a long time since I've seen Kill Bill. But wasn't Uma Thurman this character? I think. I think. That's awesome. This is a good box. Let me go ahead. Let me see PPG value. I think no matter what, I did pretty well in this box. First pop, we got the Nova. Limited to only 30,000 pieces. And it's coming in. Wow, this thing in the past five months has really dropped in value. But anyway, it's now worth $27.00. It was 37, so this has dropped 10 bucks in the past five months. Pot number two, this is the OG, the 2016 Jardway, not the restock. The OG Jardway with the Hot Topic sticker with the 2016 down the bottom, coming in at 36 bucks. It was worth 40. This one also dropped $4 in price. So everything so far has dropped. That's to be expected for what we're facing now financially. Here's the success story, White Goodman. It was worth 44 bucks. White Goodman is now worth $46. He actually went up in price $2. So that's a positive. Last pop, The Bride, Kill Bill. This is worth 85 bucks. Another success story. This is now worth 110. That one's gone up quite a bit in value. So grand total of this box, $219. So I did okay. These two dropped in price. These two raised in price in the past five months. And yeah, this one's now a hundred and what I say, ten dollar pop. So this one's really gone up in value quite a bit. 85 to 110. I'm happy with that. So yeah, once again, another successful Pop King Paul mystery box. It was way overvalued. I paid 150, got back 219. Two big thumbs up on that. So don't forget, 
Tonight, December 9th, 2022, 6 p.m. will be my next What Not Live Funko Pop auction. I'm doing giveaways. We have Bite Now available right now. There's a few mystery boxes left to purchase as of the recording of this video. I'll be adding in pops to the auction all the way till the very start of the auction. So if you don't see something you like right now for auction, give it a few hours, check back. There'll be more stuff listed for auction for tonight. Also, don't forget my direct link down below to whatnot. If you use that link now, you'll save $15 off your first purchase. Not 10, now it's 15 bucks. It's gone up in value. So use that link down below and save 15 bucks. I'll see you tonight, 6 p.m. only on the whatnot app. This video was brought to you by the WhatNot app. Download the free WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. You can buy Funko Pops auction style, Silver Age and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards, pack breaks, and box breaks. You can have sports cards ripped for you live that you purchase. Download the WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions on the WhatNot app.